So here are these two new 2306 motors from a company that's not new to making motors, uh, Magneto Aerodynamics. Uh, they've been making motors for larger props, for larger drones. So now this is their first uh, incursion into the small FPV type of uh, motors. So these are the Mad Racer 2306 and they come in 2400 and 2750 kV motors. Now these are prototype at this point. Uh, I believe you can buy them through Alibaba or AliExpress, but they're not uh, readily available yet. Uh, only I've only seen them there. One of the YouTube viewers actually contacted me. Uh, his uh, screen name is Kila G. He contacted me uh, regarding testing the motors uh, because the, the company Mad Mad uh, Components. They wanted to they wanted to see how these would compare against other motors as far as performance is concerned, because they wanted to make sure that the that they were gonna be competitive, that they wanna you know have a motor that uh, that performs on par with the other motors. So I agreed, and uh, they went ahead and sent me. Uh, they actually sent me the first prototype. It was a 2750 as well, and. Uh, I tested it and gave them the results and gave them a few comments regarding the KV was a little bit too low and uh, the output on, on the motor was uh, too low you know for this uh, size so then uh, they actually a f couple of weeks later they came back with a newer version they made some changes I, I believe they use as you can see they use larger magnets and of course they changed the winding on the motor a bit uh, but the rest of the uh, the rest of the motor uh, the armature is pretty much the same uh, i guess they want to keep this armature is pretty pretty light it's actually quite light so uh, as i said these are in prototype stage so they may still do some changes uh, for the final version so they've uh, incorporated a lot of the typical features for the latest motors uh, as far as uh, uh, the construction on the motor as you can see there they went with the uh, now popular bottom uh, naked bottom retaining screw for the shaft for the motor shaft a light uh, armature to keep the weight down and a single piece shaft and this one is uh, completely hollow. It's hollow all the way through. From what what uh, I understand and what they told me is that uh, when you hollow the shaft all the way through, and then you don't leave any solid uh, portion, that help uh, helps relieve the s stresses. So it doesn't make it as easier to to shear off the shaft uh, when you when you crash. So when you apply a force right there, it's going to be less likely to shear off. Uh, at, the, at the weakest point. Uh, so the motor comes with 120 millimeters worth of uh, wire. Uh, so let's see what it weighs with this 120 millimeters. Thirty two point one grams. So that's with 100, 120 millimeters worth of wire. So if we cut them to around 50 we will get rid of this much wire about 2.5 grams so the motor weighs in at about 29.6 uh, 29.6 grams so pretty light that's a quite a light motor that's the 2750 I imagine the the 2400 might weigh a little bit more because it's gonna have uh, more copper uh, lower KV so let's see 32.3 versus 32.1 so 0.2 difference so about 29.6 29.7 that's that's a pretty light motor pretty pretty good weight okay so let's crack this open so we can take a closer look uh, it's pretty easy to remove this screw they're using a one of those good allen screws the ones that uh, don't strip out that easily uh, as long as you have a, a good Allen key. So, as you can see there, looks like they went with a 3mm shaft. Uh, from what they said is that they believe that uh, with the, uh, the hardening 
treatment that they, they're going to give the shaft, they feel that 3 millimeters should be enough. And I think what they're saying is they want to optimize the, um, the amount of copper on the, on the stator. So that's something, uh, you know, that's something to test uh, once, uh, once we start crashing all that. And, you know, we'll see how the shaft, uh, how the shaft survives, uh, the material they selected. Hopefully that's the case. Hopefully it's quite strong and there's no issues with the shaft. Uh, Alright, so let's uh, look at it on the, the magnifying glass. Okay, so here's the stator. So you can see the pretty, pretty neat windings, a uh, single strand wire. And uh, uh, those are, I believe, uh, 3 by 8 by 3 bearings. Uh, stator laminations are, uh, look like they're 0.2 millimeters. And this stator seems to be, it is 6 millimeter uh, nominal. Uh, beefy base, uh, that's pretty good. Should not be in an issue with this base. The only, uh, the only thing that people are going to have to be careful with is when threading the mounting, sc mounting screws, just make sure uh, you don't go past the base. There's going to be plenty of thread there, but you just got to make sure the screws are not too long that you're going to go past and then damage the, the windings. So that's the only thing because it's, it's pretty close, but that's, you know, the user has to be careful about that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the design, I don't think. Uh, here's the bell. Magnets look uh, pretty good. Uh, looks like uh, plenty of uh, adhesive there around. And uh, yeah, they are curved magnets and pretty pretty good density. There's not a lot of gap in between magnets. And as far as the uh, the air gap, uh, let's look at it. The air gap looks looks pretty good. Uh, it's not uh, extremely tight and it's not loose loose either. I think it's just right. And in some cases, you don't want to have it too tight because uh, that's from what I hear that sometimes may cause uh, yaw glitches you know uh, you get too much of a uh, feedback back to the FC when in some motors so when you have strong magnets and very close air gap I don't know if that's true but that's what I've that's what I've heard so hopefully they they make it available for uh, worldwide you know so that it, more people it'll be available for more people uh, other than just Australia um, I th for now I think uh, the guy that uh, got me that got me the motors for testing Kilo G uh, he said uh, that these were gonna be first distributed in the Australian market but hopefully they they make him uh, available worldwide so if you know we in the United States or uh, people in Europe want him you know the they can easily obtain them. All right, so let's look at the uh, thrust test. Keep in mind these are prototypes. I'm just showing them off right here. This is these are not the final version, so I think they they may still tweak them a little bit. Uh, but uh, they said it was okay to show the, um, the the thrust results at this point, just to you know, just to pick interest into these motors. Uh, so you know, we'll. Put them to the thrust stand, and I'll show you guys what how this did, uh, and then we'll look at the results on the thrust table.
All right, so here are the results for the prototype, Matt Racer 2306, 2400 kV. Uh, motor came in at about 2475 kV as measured by the thrust stand. And uh, pretty, pretty good numbers uh, throughout the whole test. Uh, uh, motor's clearing 1300 grams on the light uh, five inch props. And as we get into the heavier props, uh, it's a approaching 1400 grams so not too bad pretty good pretty good and uh, on the six inch props it's uh, easily clearing 1600 uh, grams amps uh, seem to be okay uh, for this kv at uh, 4s also went ahead and tested on 5s uh, with the 5043 by 3 uh, hq prop uh, and uh, 1700 grams at uh, pretty pretty reasonable amps so again remember these are static thrust amps uh, in the air these are going to be much lower uh, up to 30 percent lower so so as i always say you know don't don't get so surprised that uh, by seeing these really high amps uh, this is only on the thrust then on the air you you won't see these high amps uh. so the 2750 kv motor came in at about 2810 kV 2810 kV so so not that bad it's just uh, slightly over and uh, I tested this one on 3s 4s and uh, I did a 5s run uh, which uh, I usually don't run 5s on these high kV motors because the amps are gonna be just way too high and I don't want to, I don't want to burn my, my ESC or thrust stand or the motor for that matter. Uh, but, uh, on 4S, this motor is doing quite well. It's clearing 1500, uh, easily, almost, almost 1600 on this, uh, four, uh, five by four by four. And, uh, it definitely clears 1600 on the larger props, the heavier props. This Dow 5046 was kind of a surprise. It didn't quite reach 1600. Uh, so it shows that this, this, uh, prop, uh, needs a little bit more torque to get it past the 1600. But, uh, on the other props, it did, this motor did pretty well. Uh, I mean, that's, that's almost 1600. Uh, remember, this is a pro these are prototype motors, so uh, these results might change in the final version. They, they're still they're still ref refining the motors on six inch, uh, eighteen hundred uh, grams, quite a lot of thrust. Uh, the amps are also a little bit high. On three S, uh, I don't know if anybody runs would run this three S, but here are the numbers. And uh, as I said, I run it on five S, uh, nineteen hundred at sixty amps, really high amps. I know some people that r do run these high KV motors on 5S, but then again, you're, you're not going to get these, these high amps. In the air, it's going to be much lower. And uh, as you saw in the video, there was a little bit of smoke uh, coming out. Uh, that's because the, the amps are so high. And uh, I actually made the run too long, as you saw in the video. So I was going slowly on the, thr on the throttle because I I was also checking at the same time I wanted to check the the amps to make sure that they weren't so high but what that did is that uh, it allowed the motor to get excessively hot so it could, I guess they burned a little bit of the enamel but it didn't get damaged at all that I ran other tests after that I've had that happen in other motors and that's pretty typical of uh, this high kV motor running at on 5s is not just on this motor so that would have happened on, on any motor of that high kV so that's why I usually don't run 5s for the, those high kV motors I've been trying to run 5s lately but up to 2500 kV any more than that it gets kind of risky so anyway that's uh, the results for these prototypes uh, pretty pretty good motors uh, overall I think uh, this uh, once they're released uh, on the final version they should be pretty good options for anybody that wants to have a, a light and fast motor as you saw these motors are pretty pretty light and uh, pretty well made so hopefully they make this available in the u.s so people have more choices of motors so there'll be more information coming later i'm sure you'll 
you'll see these motors uh, being uh, available pretty soon all right that's uh, what i had to show you on these uh, motors uh, thanks to uh, matt components for sending the prototypes and allowing me to test the, the prototypes and give him a little hand uh, hopefully it helps him to refine the motor and get a pretty good motor out uh, pretty soon thanks for watching